This video is to show you how I teach 7-8. The study of 7-8 can definitely be tricky if you don't simplify it. So remember to tell the students that the top number, 7, tells you that there are 7 beats per measure, and the bottom number, 8, tells you that the 8th note gets the beat. But just like 6-8, the pulse and the beat are not the same. And to further confuse things, uh, the pulses are not of equal length. So you want to turn your metronome on at 120. And introduce them to 2 plus 2 plus 3, 7, 8. So there's a few different versions of 7, 8. The first one we're going to go for is 2 plus 2 plus 3. So have them watch you as you count 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Three. One, two, three. Once they get it, have them just join in. I usually just let them say, join in when you're comfortable. And then we just keep doing it over and over again. And then after they got that going pretty well, we get our foot into it as well. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Same thing. I just say, hey, join in when you're comfortable, when you're ready, go for it. And then after that, I say, all right, everybody stop. I'm going to show you how to clap eighth notes. One, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. And then after I've modeled it a little bit, then I do say, hey, I'm going to model a measure. You echo it back. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. After that's going well, uh, I, I say, all right, guys, now I think that we are ready to do an exercise in 7-8. So the first exercise that we do in 78, or excuse me, in 7-8 is number 264 because it's also group 2, 2, 3. So I model for them, tell them to get out their guns. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, 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 one, two, one, two, three. And then after they, while, while they're doing that, hopefully they're using their gun or pointing to it, then I'm going to shine it up on my projector. You can write it up on your board if you don't have a projector. You can rhythmically analyze it if you want to. I don't usually. I just touch the notes as they clap them. Once they get pretty good at that, then just take it all down and say, all right, go ahead, guys. You do it. Just look at 264, rock and roll. Once they get pretty good at that, say, okay, that's good. Now um, there, we've got a new kind of 7-8. Just like we did in 5-8, there are other subdivisions that you can do in 7-8 or group, excuse me, not subdivisions, but groupings. So uh, there's another one called 2 plus 3 plus 2. So that one would be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1. And then once they get that going, they can do it with their mouth with me. Then I say, all right, join in with the foot with me whenever you're ready. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Three, one, two, and you got to make sure that you give special emphasis to the very first beat of each seven eight measure, or else it gets pretty confusing, and you might lose the the correct feel for the time signature. So then you have them join you, and then after that, they're getting pretty good. You want to say, all right, here's how the eighth notes go in this particular version of seven eight. One two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two and much like three four the first beat is excuse me the first pulse is stronger than the second and third pulse so you want to make sure that you reflect that when you're doing it otherwise it doesn't really feel like seven eight once they feel like they can do that then i would step up and say all right here we go 265 let's turn there in your book i will model it first you guys use your guns here's 265 one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. 
you get the idea. So after you model, you show it up on the board, you do the bouncing ball technique, and then you let them try it on their own. So after they've mastered the, those two exercises, then you can go back and say, all right, guys, now let's look at how those eighth notes were beamed. How did I know that number 264 was 2 plus 2 plus 3? And hopefully smart kid in the front row, flute player, says, it's because, Mr. Tyree, there's the beaming of the two notes and the two notes and the three notes, you know. And if they don't get it, explain it to them again. And then say, hey, hey, 265, how did I know? Is that, am I Tyree the mu musician or a magician or whatever? And they'll be like, oh, no, it's because of the beaming underneath the eighth notes. So hopefully, if they look at 264 and 265, compare and contrast, they can see that it's not they can also know if they see something brand new in 7-8 that it's based on the 2 plus 2 plus 3 or 2 plus 3 plus 2 or the other one that we're going to get into in a minute is uh, based on how the eighth notes are beat. Now it's time to introduce them to the last version of 7-8. 3 plus 2 plus 2. Have them watch as you count. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two, three. Join in uh, with the counting it, it, when they start to feel comfortable, you know, a little at a time or all together, however you like to do it as band director. Then get your foot up there where they can see it and one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And then you have them join in. And then once they feel good with that, then you clap the eighth notes. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Giving special emphasis to the very first pulse in each measure. And then, once they feel good with all that, say, hey guys, all right, we're ready to do it for real. Let's go turn to number 266 in our book. I'll model it, you use your gun. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and you get the idea. You model a whole exercise for them, then you put it up on the board and you touch each note as they do it so that they're getting that this sound equals this symbol on the on the board and then take it all away and just leave the metronome on, count them off and see if they get it. Then you can go back and tell them one more time, look at the beaming of the eighth notes and you tell me which one is two plus two plus three, two plus three plus two. 3 plus 2 plus 2, and then have them look forward at the next few 7-8 exercises and try to guess which which grouping it should be. So in 7-8, uh, I would like to show you how the 16th notes would work. So if you look at number 278, here we go. 1 and 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1 and 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3. 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1. And go through the whole modeling and all that that we've done with all of the other exercises. And now triplets in 7 8, 16th triplets in 7 8, 285. Triple it two, three, one, two, one, two. Triple it two, three, one, two, one, two. Triple it two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three. Triple it two, one, two. And then you get the idea. That's that's how the triplets work. And turn this metronome off for a second. Remember, every time you do a clapping exercise, you start with a metronome on and you tell them about that posture every time. Feet flat on the ground, scoop foot forward in your chair, curve your spine, shoulders up, back down, and the chest is high so that they will have the correct posture for breathing to create good tone quality. You want to tap your toe to, to uh, make sure you understand the pulse, count out loud to make sure you understand the, the meter, clap the rhythms, least important part of the process, two exercises twice each model new exercises for them. Either use the gun or touch the notes. Use the line of your standard with the dots below, on, or above the line. Keep the energy level high and keep the study periods short so that hopefully it's fun and intense for your students.